Hello, I am at the world's smallest pub. Now, I know you're probably thinking, Becky, the world is pretty big. It's a big boy. There are millions of pubs on this floating rock. Where is the world's smallest one? Well, according to Google... Grimsby. The pub is in Grimsby. People come from all over the shop to visit this pub. The smallest pub on the planet. But there's one main reason that I'm going. The smallest pub in the world. This is Alan. Oh. So he owns the pub and I also think he might be my dad. But uh, more on that another time. So I boarded a train to the north to find the world's smallest pub and Alan. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Grimsby. <laughs> Hi, Robbie. That's a tiny microphone. <laughs> When you said you brought a microphone with me, people, I thought you meant like a proper one. Uh, <laughs> it's like you're a giant. Cheers. Cheers. We are before seeing the world's smallest pub. I'm very excited. Yeah. I've been to many pubs, but never the world's smallest. Do you like our t-shirts? Yes, Becky, I do like your t-shirts. In fact, I made them myself. Here's a flashback to me giving the t-shirt to Robbie Knox. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Extra large, bit fancy. Are we wearing them now? By the way, have a quick check that you're still subscribed to my YouTube channel and I'll make you a t-shirt if you are. <laughs> Woohoo! Grimsby 2022! How small is it? Uh, Pretty small. Jog, 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 jog. <laughs> to go with the world's smallest pub, the world's smallest microphone, we've got... Rain! rain. Grim! Grim in Grimsby! Just be wet. The theme of today is grim. We have to do the following, otherwise we're stuck in Grimsby forever. Take a picture with something grim. Can't be me. Um, we have to make a grim friend. We have to get something grim from a fish and chip shop. Sleepover in a grim pub. I didn't know it was gonna be this sort of day. I thought we were just gonna go and get drunk as normal. I didn't know it was gonna be physical challenges. Let the grim begin. So then of course we had a swift pint to start us off. To us. To us. And I, I made friends with a dog. But then it was time to go to the world's smallest pub. But before that, we had the world's saddest taxi driver. It's Oops. Becky's first time to Grimsby. Oh, one last. <laughs> So what are you here for? Is it a bet? <laughs> um, have you been to the world's smallest pub? No. Oh, no, we're going that's there. That's where we're going. Yeah. I don't socialise with people. <laughs> so there's a pub up here that I've always driven past in Grimsby. That's what I do with most of them, but go on. <laughs> Probably one of them that's all right when you've had a few and another one. That's what people say about me. I'm all right after a few and another one. <laughs> oh my God. A building that's full down. <laughs> the building that side did have scaffolding. And whoever was uh, hiring the scaffolding, refused to pay, so they took the scaffold. <laughs> I'm definitely glass is half empty. It's, em it's half empty. Yeah. There's some of this in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got cracked glass. It would have been better, but yeah. bugger off. <laughs> Do you want to come with us? No, no, no. No. I remember funny. I've heard, I have heard of that. <laughs> I think we had that years ago. Look, it's there! It's there! Oh, it's oh, happening, it's happening. Oh my god. It scared me enough for one day. <laughs> Goodbye! Stay, stay in touch, brother, thank you. <laughs> Don't look now! We've arrived at the world's smallest pub. I'm gonna wet myself. It's over there. Should we, should we take a closer look, Robbie? <laughs> Does nobody realise that they're outside the world's smallest pub? Nobody here understands! That's right, guys. I made it to the world's smallest pub. But what I didn't realise was that Alan was right behind me. How did I miss this? It's the moment we've all been waiting for. We are going inside the world's smallest pub. And to meet Alan, of course. I've got a few questions for this man. Good evening. Hi. This is oh, Alan yes. from the world's smallest pub. I was playing it so cool, but I was in the presence of greatness. Is Alan. Now then. Yes. <laughs> Alan, I've got a few questions for you. Has it always been this small? It's an original Victorian signal box. So this is where they used to do the train signalling? That's correct. Right. It was transferred from Scunthorpe. I said, whoa. Let's have a look at it first. Does the size affect the size of the pint? Weights and measures come in to check that we're using <laughs> correct measures. I'm not HMRC. Do many people come from far and beyond? Um, I would say New Zealand. Oh, Robbie! 
Australia, wow. Canada, America, all over on the continent. Uh, <laughs> what do you recommend in the smallest pub in the world? That one. Stand? Yeah, we'll have yeah. two pints of them. Do you like my t-shirt by the way, Alan? Oh, it's very nice. It should say, all I got was this t-shirt and a pint. But I don't know, it ran out well, of room, I think. No, you should put that on the back. <laughs> and a pint. Ah. Ah. Read the front. <laughs> oh, Alan, thank you so much. It's all right. And we got a local Where here. I actually live in Beverly. Oh, yeah. We've got the nice. resident group. <laughs> up there, there's a resident group. Where? Oh, there they are. Yeah. Rigor mortis and the stiffs. <laughs> they look suspiciously like JLF. <laughs> yeah. Farewell, guys. Cheers. And just like that, I hadn't only found the world's smallest pub, I had found a lifelong friend in Alan. If you're watching this, Alan, I miss you, and I always will. I always will. Goodbye. You won't believe us unless we tell you we were just put in the back of a police car. <laughs> that was the coolest thing that's ever happened. Yo, I'm a policeman. Let me drive you to your next location. And we said, yeah, okay. Yeah, lovely man. Got to got to see police car works. Now we're gonna go to the, the chip shop. Feeling pretty crazy and alive. Guys, I'm drinking wine in this crazy Crazy place. I like wine, yeah. We're we going to build a sandcastle. Um, I'll check this for me. A little bit different. A fish cake. Oh god, that's so fishy. How about you shut the fuck up for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> mommy! Mommy, where are you? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, it's Robbie and Becky. Becky we're not we're drunk. not drunk. We're the world's shittest ballerina. Would you swipe right on Tinder? Right, introducing a segment that I like to call We Had a Few J2Os in Grimsby. <laughs> Let's all jump up. <laughs> I need to go to bed. We're not, We're not drunk. Okay, so cast your minds back to the checklist where I said sleep over in a grim pub. We ended up staying in a Weatherspoons. So here's a very intoxicated tour. Enjoy. <coughs> Let me show. <laughs> oh my god. And I've, oh, 60 pound. It is really quite something. Hello. If you're ever thinking to book a Weatherspoons, then do it, I guess. Well, smallest pub, completed it, mate. All the best, stay in touch. Good, bye. In Alan we trust. Good night, everyone. Kisses.